What is going on guys, this is Johnny of Fresh on YouTube and welcome back to another video in the Android Studio app development tutorials. And yes, this time we're actually going to start with the advanced tutorial series. Isn't it great? Finally, after I covered all of this general stuff, now we can finally get into this, okay? So we're going to continue with the Contact Manager app right now. And what I have planned for today is actually um, selecting an image from your gallery and then setting an image view to this image and yeah, basically just using this image on your contact. So that's what I have planned for today and that's what we're going to do. So displaying this in the contact list might take a little too long so I'm probably going to put this in the next tutorial then and in the next tutorial I think we can start with something new or the tutorial after the next tutorial. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just kind of have to coordinate things a little bit. Alright, so let's get started guys, shall we? By the way, I've already recorded this tutorial now, I think about three times now. It's really, I don't know, I'm pff, my mind is blown <laughs> by my lack of, I don't know, skills to record this video. Anyways, <clears throat> so let's get into this right now. So you're going to need to get into your project, hair key or whatever it is, and then we're going to need our resource folder right here. And as you can see, there are a few drawable things in here. Because what we want to do, we want to, of course, create this image view, and then we want to display a default image. We're just going to display whenever no image is actually selected. So that was one thing we want to do. And to do that, uh, I downloaded this image from the internet, which is called NoUserLogo.png. And this is basically the default image we're going to display if the user has actually not selected an image from his gallery. Um, so right now we're going to need to go into this resource folder, we're going to go to new and a new directory and now we're going to create this new directory and we're just going to call it drawable because what this basically means, this HTPI, MDPI, this is basically if you have a tablet or different screen sizes then it's basically going to say okay we're going to just need a medium medium um, quality picture or something and then you can apply different drawables into there so this is basically just different image resolutions which go in here for either a really big tablet or a smaller one or just a normal phone so this is just all there is to it um, so we're just gonna create a new photo called drawable which you know can be used on any screen <clears throat> so right now we're just gonna need this default image and we're gonna drag and drop it into the folder um, we created just a second ago. So hit OK. And yes, this is actually going to move your image, so it's not going to be there anymore. Um, if you want to keep it, uh, keep it like, keep like a backup or something, then you can do this and just create a new folder or something. I don't know. It's really your personal preference. So now, since we have this in the drawable folder, we can actually get start with the image view. So um, we're going to just drag and drop this image view from our palette into this uh, beautiful app window right here. And what you're going to notice immediately is that there's just this little blue square, I guess it is. And that is because the layout width and the layout height is set to wrap content. So what this basically means is that um, it kind of going to resize the image view um, and make it kind of fit the image or something. So it's gonna it's not gonna scale it to a size we want, it's gonna scale it to the image's size, which is usually really bad because the user could just say, okay, hi, I'm gonna put this like uh twelve eighty by seven twenty thing and then we pretty much fuck because what happens if you put twelve eighty right here this happens. Which is really, really bad because you're gonna have a hard time actually seeing where the freaking image went. So what we want to do, we want to set uh, just a normal size, like 100 dp, 100 dp, and then going to do the same for the width, or for the height, I mean. And now I'm just going to center this horizontally, so I just go and I expand this gravity right here, use center and then horizontal, and that's going to be a center. Um, and now we're going to apply a margin, because it looks kind of stupid if it's right below this uh, header or title or whatever it is. So I'm just going to put a margin of 10 dp. Okay, so that's great. And now we just need to kind of reference our default image. And to do that, okay, first I'm going to actually rename uh, the ID. So it's just going to be img view contact image. I know that's a horrible name, but I can't really come up with any good names right now. 
and now let's go to the source and select our image here we go no user logo hit OK and then you can see that there's our no user logo and it's looking perfectly fine and that's exactly what we're gonna use so now what I want to do now we're gonna get into the coding force what I want to do I want to basically create a little um, on click listener like basically it's kind of as if you uh, we click on this button right here. It's just gonna apply this uh, on click listener to the image as well. Uh, so not the same one, of course. We're gonna create a new one, which is basically just gonna start an intent which you use to select the image, and we just gonna it's then it's gonna send back some data, and this data we're gonna use it and use this data to basically tell the image view where the source file is on your Android phone. So this you can use internal storage or external storage, it doesn't really matter at all for this method which we're gonna use because we're gonna use intents which is usually a pretty good thing. We're gonna work with intents a lot in the future. I mean not really a lot but you're gonna kind of see it again definitely. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So right here we're gonna write below this edit text things. We're gonna create an image view and I already imported this because, as I said, I recorded this uh, tutorial now about four times or something, and I always messed it up. So I'm really sorry. Hopefully, it's gonna go well this time. Um, so now let's use contact. Yeah, last time I mistyped that, and I was like, "Oh my god, I can't freaking find the method." Oh my god, what am I doing? And it was horrible, really. <laughs> I should I should post some outtakes, shouldn't I? It would be kind of funny. We see I'm always pretty much raging. Okay, anyways, <laughs> enough. Um, image view, contact, image view. Yeah. Contact. Oh, actually, it's contact, image, image view. <laughs> Horrible name, I know. But let's let's be precise about that. Um, and then do the same here. Same thing here as we did with all the edit texts. So, contact, image, image view equals to. And then we're going to cast this to an image view, of course, and then find view by ID, R dot ID dot image view contact image beautiful isn't it okay so now we're gonna set the on click listener right here so we did the same thing up here with the button and by the way I just want the user to click on the image because I think it's quite practical but um, if you want another button and then you know the user clicks on it and then all of the stuff which we're gonna add in seconds is gonna happen then that's totally fine it's your preference as I said and you can do that but I'm just gonna stick to my method, I guess. Um, because of practical, as I said. So now let's lose contact image image view <laughs> dot set on click listener. And then, mm, oh, let's not use the U keyword. Let's use the on click listener because I think it's gonna create that for us automatically. It's not. Well, this is the first time that it did not create this. Okay, now it's doing that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what did I do here? Sorry. Okay, so now on this on click, I think you already know this. Now we can just use this and set or just use our, all of our code. All right, so as I already mentioned, we're gonna use intents for this. So you're gonna need to create a new instant of this intent. So intent intent equals new intent. Beautiful. Okay. And now we're going to need to set the type. So intents are usually used like kind of, it's going to create a chooser or something. So let's say you want to send an email directly from your app, which we're going to add as well. So guys, this is kind of a little thing we're going to add pretty soon. And then you're going to set the type. And this is going to be a string. So we kind of know, okay, what do we want the user to pick from? Like email clients, or do we want to pick like different images, like... This also applies to something like Google Drive images and all that. I think you know it, and you're gonna, you kind of, kind of see what I mean by that. So I'm just gonna use image, and then this placeholder, <clears throat> and then intent dot sat action. We're definitely gonna do more with intents, so don't worry about that. And now we're just gonna do intent dot, and this is really a cool thing as well. Action get content right here. So it has all of these strings saved in this intent class. <clears throat> and then we can just start an activity for result. And what this basically means is that we're going to get a result from what we're doing with this intent. So it's basically we're going to get the path or the URI of the image. We're going to get that back. 
and yeah start activity for results so what we need is now the intent and what we're going to do is we're going to do intent.create chooser like that and then we're going to need to reference the intent and now we can basically put a string where it's basically just going to say okay select so like picture and this by the way is if you don't if you have different things like just the gallery so I on my emulator I just have the gallery but usually there's things like the Google Drive images or something else like in your photo camera you might have a different kind of image resource in your phone and that is basically where this chooser is really good because it's just gonna say okay please select a picture and then it's gonna display all the apps which support that so that's pretty cool and I'm just gonna select contact image photo whatever <laughs> and then we're gonna do just as a code you can come up with the code I'm just gonna use a one so that's basically the code we're gonna be looking for and if this is our result code uh, then we know okay this is actually the result we created like from from this uh, intent we started I'm gonna show you how this is done right now because there's another like like on this on these on create method and there's also on post create and all that and just like these we have something called on activity result so this result um, so whatever is happening in this intent it's gonna be sent back to us which is really amazing so right now we're just gonna create a new void so public void and we don't actually need to override this which is a, which is a plus on activity result and then we're gonna do integer and then it's of course we have like a little request code and then we have another integer which is which is the result code and then we have the intent and I'm just it's gonna return an intent as well so I'm just gonna use intent data All right <coughs> so now we basically just gonna check if the result of the intent is alright so let's say the user presses back then it's gonna return cancel I guess so then we don't really want to do anything with the results and we're just gonna stop so Right now, we're going to create a new if statement, which is going to be if result code. Oh, I call this rest code. Um, equals to result OK. OK, which is right here. Result OK. And then we're going to be doing another if statement. I think we just need one line for that if statement. And we're just going to do if request code equals to 1. So this is the request code we put up here, and again I oh, type the whole thing here. I'm sorry. And as I said, we just need one line, and this simple, simple line is just gonna be image view. So we need the contact image image view dot set image URI, and now we're just gonna do data, which is the intent dot get data. That's it. And now we are basically setting the contact image so the image we added right here to uh, the image the user picked okay so this is pretty much already the code so now let's check it out and see if it's working alright guys so we're in our app again and again I'm sorry for this uh, really early Android version but um, the emulation really kind of weird right now with the current Android studio version but okay fine <laughs> So right here you can see we have our um, default image and now we should be able to click on it and then we should get into our gallery. So if I click on it, yes there we are in my gallery and um, I recently downloaded an image from the internet and this is going to be the image we're going to use for the contact so I'm just going to click on it and now here we are. Isn't that beautiful? So there it is, there's the image, it's perfectly fine, it works, it's amazing. And as you can see right here, we have this as our contact image. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is what we did right now. And in the next tutorial, we're actually going to display that in our contact list as well. So we're going to add an image view to our list view item. And then we're going to see what we're going to do next. I think it's going to be the email stuff. It's pretty interesting as well. And since we're just messing with intents right now, it's going to be a good topic. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.